What up? What up? What do you think about that sound, huh? I don't know if it works or not. I didn't test it. Kind of ruined the spontaneity of it. Spontaneity. Um. Anyway, we're under an overpass. You can't tell, but we're about to get on the freeway. Then we'll get a uh, cut right to it. We'll get to the bridge talk. Been a minute. Uh, I still can't believe anyone actually watches me ramble while driving across bridges. Y'all are awesome. That's cool as hell. Uh, thanks. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks to anyone who's new here. This is Bridge Talk, where uh, I, a local company driver, um, talk while on bridges about whatever I happen to be talking about. So we'll get that started as soon as we get the green light up in this motherfucker. All right. Beautiful scenery down here. Dirty windshield. It's mandatory as a local driver. I've been slip seating, man. I've been slip seating for like six weeks now because uh, my tractor is down. My Cascadia is down with a, uh, oh, I forget, some kind of computer component. TAC, maybe? TAC? And it isn't, it's just not available. They just can't get one. So. Uh, I just have to drive whatever no one else is driving at the moment, which is not my favorite thing in the world to do, but it's not as bad as a local guy in a day cab, you know, definitely not the same as having a slip, uh, seat, a sleeper cab, but it still sucks. You know, you like having your own space. You like, if you leave it clean, it's clean when you get back, etc. You know, it's kind of pointless for me to clean up all this stuff because I'm not going to see this truck again anytime soon. Which, uh, that's alright. That's okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully the sound is working. I got a new phone, uh, with the better video abilities. I guess you could do editing and stuff, too. I ain't gonna do none of that, though. None, none. Just hit stop, hit upload. That's, that's a game around here. Shout out to, uh, Mr. Boggs, TC Boggs, for putting out a video on how to get the sound through the Bluetooth mic that even I could follow which is a challenge. Who else? We got to do... Oh! Oh! We're going to do a shout-out to uh, Team Tiny. My neighbor up the uh, from across the hill there. Team Tiny. Fella NorCalian. Uh, Owner-operator. Jumped right into the game. Y'all know Team Tiny, man. He's not around as much. You know what? In fact, go over to a Team Tiny video. His most recent one. Maybe I'll try to put the link in the description. And tell Team Tiny we miss him. We miss Team Tiny and his... His sing-alongs and his various safety vests and his other learning experience content. Team Tiny took the opportunity to give me a shout-out during uh, probably the most heated debate on a live feed I think we've all seen in quite a while uh, the other night. I believe it was uh, Elite Nevada were going at it pretty heavy. And in the middle of that, Team Tiny went ahead and hit that StreamYard link and took felt the need that that was the best opportunity to shout-out this channel. So thanks, Tiny. Thank you. Uh, I think we picked up a solid uh, sub or two, possibly two subs. Coincidentally, I think that's when Tiny actually subbed also. That's here nor there. More subs is more subs. I think we're winding up on one. I haven't. I didn't look today. I think I'm in, uh, past 120. I was talking about it earlier in, uh, in the NFG on the Zello. I'm going to have to do some kind of giveaway. I have to set an attainable number, though. I don't want to set it at 1,000 because... Let's be honest, chances of hitting a 1,000 when all you do is hit uh, record and then drive over bridges and you have no content other than that, it, it's unlikely. It's unlikely to hit a 1,000, but I don't know, maybe 300. Maybe 300 will be the big giveaway. Uh, yeah, well, more news to come. That's why you got to stay tuned. You got to hit that bell, right? And hit the subscribe, got to hit the bell, got to hit the thumbs up and or down. Um, stay informed on the goings on on this channel it's a mile a minute in here you really got to keep up it's a nice bicycle see see uh what are we really going to talk about today uh i want to hit something semi-serious and i don't know how many local people there are out here in our little youtube you know the very tip top of the very bottom of the trucking youtube sphere uh but we share different challenges driving locally and I'm not sleeping in the truck, man. You know, I get to go home when I'm done long days 
and unpredictable days, but I do get to go home. So it's a little different when you're sleeping in your truck. So you're sleeping in the same bed, but you are sleeping in a different place every night. But there's some commonalities as well. And that is you spend a lot of damn time with nothing to do but think. Stare out the windshield, try not to wreck the truck, and think. And sometimes that's a dangerous thing if you're anything like me, and I know a lot of you are, or you sit there by yourself and, you know, you start out, maybe you're a little frustrated about one thing or you could have done something better. Or you're a little anxious about an upcoming decision or something you could have, an opportunity perhaps. You're, you know, everything's got pros and cons, right? You're weighing it out. Before you know it, you've kind of twisted it around in your head and now you're, you're starting to get a little down, a little depressed as it were, and double thinking yourself and starting to feel very, very alone, even though you're surrounded by hundreds of, I'm probably surrounded by, you know, thousand people right now, but they don't know you, right? You don't know them. They're not interested in talking to you. They most likely don't like you because they don't like us out here. Let's be honest. Anyway, uh, I find myself doing that all the time and that's why I am pretty thankful to have NFG Thanks, NFG. Link in the description, as always. Because you kind of have, so you always have someone to talk to in there, even if it's about nothing, just to get your mind off whatever it is that's making you kind of go batshit crazy, as it were. And that's also what YouTube's good for, right? You got your books on tape and all that. Sometimes I listen to those and I'm just not even listening. It's just background noise. But if you're on YouTube videos, a lot of the time you're kind of engaged, especially. If it's a topic you care about and it kind of snaps you out of it, and that's all you need once in a while, man. Five, 10, 15 minutes of a distraction. And then you realize that your problems are pretty much all conquerable. You can pretty much get away. I mean, if you don't have a terminal disease, you're not incarcerated for the rest of your life. You're not physically incapable there's always pretty much choices you can make and there's always a way to make it better. Right. And that's not always easy to remember in the moment. So that would be my message today. If, if I guess I have messages now, I don't even think we're going to get to the bridge. So whatever the message, the main takeaway of this video is you're not actually alone. You might feel alone, but no matter what, there's always someone out there and pretty much everything going on you can always find a way out of it or to make it better even if you screwed up because we all screw up i know all about screwing up a lot severely and constantly but you kind of you just do the best you can and there's usually a way to make it right even if sometimes it ain't the answer you want but there is an answer uh, that's the city jail. That's the holding cell. That's not where you sit if you're sentenced. But if you get to, uh, you come out here in the city and get drunk and disorderly, that's where you get to spend the night, right? There, through those frosted windows. Great accommodations. I should have put the camera on the other side. You're missing the skyline view and all the construction. That's right. Next time. Next time. There's only so many bridges. You're going to see all these bridges in the Bay Area from every single possible angle. As long as you hit that bell and subscribe, right? I know, uh, just everyone just hanging on every, the tip of every word of my, Woo! ah, you can't see it. Maybe you can see it in the little mirror. <laughs> that's a, that lane that's uh, open right next to us right now. That's an exit only, but the signage isn't very good. So people, people like to run up and just duck in traffic. And I just almost saw a bike lay it down trying to jump over anyway that's here nor there but that's what you're here for right the spontaneity i think that's about all i got for today what else no real news i might do an ab5 thing i don't know seems like a little uh, oversaturated with ab5 but i am in california so i do get a little bit of intel and see how it's actually affecting uh you know, daily operations of owner operators and companies alike and everything. I haven't heard anything though. I haven't, I haven't noticed any difference as of yet. Still plenty of trucks out here calling, hauling containers with least on, on the door. Plenty of, uh, the one I always see is the produce haulers and they're kind of leased. I don't know if it's a broker 
a lot of the trailers will have a broker's name on it. And then the tractor will have the, the owner of that tractor's business name on it. So they are running, I assume the broker probably also has an operating authority, kind of like Schneider does, or a lot of places do, I guess. And you lease on to the motor carrier side of it and then get dispatched by the brokerage side of it but I'm pretty sure that's all contracted freight. So I'm not sure how that'll work if everyone has to get their own numbers. Uh, Anyway, now I'm just talking about AB5, which I said I'll make in a future video. That's a preview. That's a pretty preview of my uneducated guesses about what's going to happen with AB5. Yeah, you can come on in, buddy. Come on in. Always let people in. Well, no, don't always let people in. But if you can let people in, don't be a dick. And force them to get off the freeway where you know they don't know where they're at just because they might have missed a very, very clearly marked sign saying that they need to get over about a quarter mile ago. But traffic flows better if you just let them in, whatever. And once in a while, people smile and wave, say thank you. Not often. Don't expect that or anything. But when they do, it kind of makes my day. Like, hey, another actual human being out here driving. Imagine that. All right, I'm starting to ramble. Okay, let's be honest, this entire thing has just been me rambling. So anyways, point to take away. Not alone. Don't get in your own damn head out here. There's always other opportunities. There's always other changes you can make. You're not the only one going through shit. Uh, If you're real bored and you're... You don't even have to be feeling down if you're just bored. You just feel like bullshit and come on over to NFG probably get lit up a little bit we all do it to each other by all means don't take it personal hang out we've got a lot of new members lately and a lot of people in different sectors of our industry it's pretty cool we got a bee guy now guy that hauls bees i was I'm pretty interesting learning about the bee hauling industry uh what else we got a local dump truck driver and dump driver owner operator we got i don't know you have to come find out for yourselves, right? Anyway, all right, I'm sorry. We're just not going to get to the bridge. We are, yeah, we're not getting, I'm out of stuff to say. We're, there'll be a part two, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll actually get to the bridge. We'll do multi part episodes. Uh, woo! Let that clutch out. See? See? See, he's using his blinker. Let him in. BMWs, I didn't even know those things came with turn signals. I'll be damned. All right, everybody be safe, Uh, like, share, subscribe, find me on, um, I don't know, YouTube, and in the NFG, Instagram, you can, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you can find me on Instagram if you want, if you uh, feel free to DM me with, I don't know, your, your fantasies or questions or just spam my mailbox, whatever you gotta do, man. All right, be safe, talk to you soon, late.